Good, good afternoon. Uh, when I talk about uh, Ukraine uh, giving Nigeria aid, a country that is fighting a war, how do you look at it? Um, good evening, everyone. Wherever you are listening to us from. Um, is that a welcome development? No. Because my question is who is actually at war? Who is supposed to give who food? If everything was supposed to be a normal place, it is Nigeria that should be exporting food to Ukraine because they are at war for two years. You don't know what it means. That's, that, 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 that's a very bad omen. And I, I said it this morning that sometimes I'm afraid to be, a, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed, I mean, to be in Nigeria. A country at war for two years is sending us food. Not just food, this is donation. Now, somebody tried to compare this with Egypt. Egyptians, they are not donating food to them. Egyptians, they are buying from them. That's the difference. What, what, is, what, what is he saying? Uh -huh. Yes, now, Egypt are not, they are not, they are not, they are not this one, they donated food. They are not paying one naira. Egyptians are buying food. That's business. I'm buying something from you, I'm paying you there from, and you are donating it to me. Are we, are we IDPs? Are we refugees in this country? Is there a war with this vast land, arable lands in, um, in the North Central? So who is supposed to be donating food to who? There are these things, you see, you see, much of these things go to leadership problems. Whatever is happening here, it is being seen abroad. For example, you saw on Sunday, you saw Nema office. National Emergency Management um, Authority. You saw, you saw the office in, in Abuja. It was looted. People, the people, they looted. They, they people looted the park. They people took the gate. You don't understand. Yesterday, a truck was taking food in Abuja. They looted the truck. Now, I, now because I, I, the, thing, the way things are going now, I don't even think a common a common man will be able to walk on the streets. Because you know the, the level of hunger and hardship is being seen all over the world, and, and I think that is why you cannot decide to to help us, which is not supposed to be so. We are not supposed to be exporting goods to them by helping them. We have no arable land. Like them. Yes, you have vast land in the, in the north centre. They are fighting war. We what we have is just is it is, 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 is this bandits and all those stuff which we can contain. I don't think we have the political way to do that. This, this was they are fighting invasion from, from a superpower, which is Russia. And I was even telling some apart from even the food, they are fighting the war in Ukraine. In Ukraine capital Kiev, there is constant supply of electricity. Now we are in Lagos. Is there electricity here? No money for food, nothing to eat. See yet, you can't even sleep with light. The funny thing, we saw the Minister of Power. He was holding the power bank. Very funny. The Minister of Power at the lab. Was, we, saw, we, saw, we saw the pictures. Was, was only, he was holding the power bank. Only the other side is it is Photoshop. You know, in this country, we can deny, we, we, we can deny anything in this country. Today, yes, today. For example, the National Assembly, there was blackout. The National Assembly. That has been a, 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 a current decision. Uh -huh. so, it's, so, 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 now, there's a blackout in the National Assembly. The Minister of Power can be holding the power bank. If, if Asuka can be holding, can be holding, can be holding electricity bills, then what is the, what is the fate of an average Nigerian working on the street? You understand know what I'm saying? So this, so, so, so now, now this is a very, very big problem. And I was telling somebody, I said to my language that, that if the property has not yet circulated, we are, we are seeing, okay, so people, so people can see it's something. That is why. But when the, the way everything is going, with the, with the increase in price and everything, I, I went to price bread now. The price bread is 1,700. From 1,005? Yes, 1,002 to 1,700. That means our highest currency, which is 1,000, cannot buy 1,000, cannot buy the biggest loaf of bread. There was there people in UK and US. I, I, I'm not talking about the good people that are our viewers. I mean, people that are mocking us. They will tell us eh, everything is hard in the UK, everything is hard in the US. Okay, come to Nigeria now. Can I use 1,000 pounds to buy biggest loaf of bread in, in the UK? Can I use 1,000 dollars to buy biggest loaf of bread in the in, in US? Or you'll be mocking us here in Nigeria saying, uh, 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 our body is noise. Okay, come to Nigeria. Let me, let me, let me go to where you are. And yes, now, if, if it's not easy, then you come here. All those things are mocking. What we have now is leadership problem. And with the spirit of hunger, which which everybody is seeing, sir, so I, I I don't I don't even know. Okay, okay. For example, we just, uh, our viewers they are helping us. God bless all of them. Yesterday I went to buy two thousand. Let me buy something to eat. Bread, I can and, and you got. Now I was about to buy. Then somebody was begging everybody. When he came to my side, he said, "Let me 
please, sir, buy other naira yam for me. I said, okay, you know, you are an adult. Let me buy 200 for you. When I saw that you were two, can I buy another? Okay, I said, let me go and live in a car for myself. Let me cancel you go. So I bought 400 naira um, yam for them. I, and I'll buy 50 naira piota. Immediately, they collected for me to book here. They stood and they, and they were eating it. That means they were too hungry. And these people, and these people, they are not lazy. They are working. Do you understand what I'm saying? What about uh, us going to farming? That, no, that's, no, I love the idea. You're a very good presenter. See, if you say us going to farming, there's no problem. I about the farmers that are being killed every day by the SMA. You know, I, you know, I made I made a point last um, on, on Saturday here that if somebody is saying this my face you, can that person employ him guard? He said no, which is everybody it is no. To guard about your, your one room. Why can somebody say I am ready five or ten cows and this and this using the key for the seven? And then we say you, you took your cows to somebody that has that has paid for the land of his farm, that has grown crops. The cows they will not graze on the crops. At the end, something will ensure. Because the man has the key for the seven, the elders. Maybe the farmers only have maybe cutlass, oats, and, 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 the, and all the likes. They, then maybe he kills he kiss the man or injures the man. The next day you see on the newspaper headline, the farmers and elders, elders are, they, they are clashing. What, what sort of clash is that? People are running from their farm. There are many people in Lagos here. They are from the north. They are beginning to sell all this petty something. But ask them before. They were farmers, but they can't farm again because these elders are, they, they, they are killing them. But the newspaper, they say they are clashing. It's not the class. Somebody taking for the same one. Somebody with the, with, with, with the hot class. That is the problem. If it's, and they are everywhere. Not even in the north. They are even in the southwest here. You saw the people that are complaining in, in the long, in the battle. They are in the east too. You can't, as a farmer, you can't, you can't plant your crops peacefully. And that's to bring their, their cows and graze on it. And you can't challenge them. So if you say we go to farming, where is the security? Where is the security for the farmers? You understand? And I'm even afraid. This, um, this, um, this um, food stuff that um, Ukraine give us is going to go to the one and again. Then I'm going to come to the normal citizens that will enjoy it. You will see now very soon the process will share among themselves or to their party people. You don't get to the common man. That is the problem. That continue like this. Another radical now, international shame. They have subjected Nigeria, Nigeria has subjected itself to international shame and radical. How could we? We're supposed to be pitying Ukraine. That is at war for two years now, fighting the giant country, Russia. They are now feeding us out of their blood, out of pain. I think we've suffered a lot in this regime. We've seen enough insult and beggarliness in this kind of regime. Ukraine giving us wheat. Don't we have land to cultivate wheat, to cultivate rice, to cultivate fruits Niger state alone has a arable land more arable than, land more than two eastern states landmarks so the government has to cultivate hectares and hectares and hectares of land for food production employ the youth tomato plantation uh plantain plantation banana plantation mango plantation and so on and so forth so the government has enough acres of land to cultivate all this food or agricultural produce we will come out with the one we should export to Ghana and Togo. We are bigger. We have bigger land than they. We have bigger pe uh, population. Our population is more than Ghana, more than Togo. We should have had at least involved into and back into mechanized agriculture, having enough agricultural produce that we feed the whole Africa. Why are we borrowing from a country that is bleeding? Ukraine is fighting USSR. From a, that is Russia. They are part of USSR. But Russia is bigger, far, far bigger in landmarks, land size than Ukraine, population wise, and, and so on and so forth. What are we benefiting from ridiculing ourselves? Nigeria under Tinubu regime has gone mad. Hungry, excess hungry is killing Nigerians and is a shame. Nigeria is not, is not is, is so shameless in this regime. How could we turn ourselves to beggars? See, Nigerians living in, a, in, in, in South Africa, in Russia, in Ukraine, in Western, even cool region, cool Europe, that's a Scandinavia. They will be laughing at them. Finland, Iceland, uh, this, uh, what do you call them? Oslo. Oslo. Uh, uh, Sweden. Norway. They will be just mocking us. We are mocking Nigerians. We are beggars. They are watching all those trucks. When Nigerians are swooping on trucks loaded with food items, vandalize everything. They are pitying us because they are white skin. 
when you are hungry, the white man, they don't like it. They, they have enough. They want to give it out. So look at the kind of gesture. Ukraine, a war-tongue country is coming out to it to assist the whole giant of Africa, the most populous black country. Shame of a nation. And let me tell you, PC will never be ever wake up from their slumber. They have rubbish this country to the level that I don't think Nigeria is coming together again. This might be the last of Nigeria, I'm telling you. Okay, when you, you are not you don't yeah, have change. Your, your family as well won't have change. It's not only Nigerians that are seeing it, the world is also seeing it. From the global point of view, you know, uh, they know that Nigeria has entered emergency mode. You know, Nigeria has entered life support. You know, the leadership is in trial and error. You know, and at the experimental stage now, you know, the, 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 the people has taken Nigerian economy. We are still in the lab experimenting which one will be good, which one will be bad. At the end of the day, people, the thing is taking people's life. So, in Zelensky's wisdom, as a man who is under threat from Russia, and of course, maybe because of the global status of Ukraine, when you talk about grain, they deem it fit to give out about 25,000 tons of grain to Nigeria. We have more arable land than them. Leadership. Only, only the the leadership. Only like that, the leadership. Leadership. What is happening today is leadership. Then, how, why are you telling me to pay for your inadequacies? Does it make sense to you? That you pay for your failure. That is what the administration is all about. That Nigeria should pay for his failure. Aboki is not happy with you. Make I tell you, Tunubu. All those Aboki, nobody is happy with FPCO. Nobody. Aboki is sweat. Seriously, now. That is why that anywhere they see any truck, they flag it down and attack that truck. It has become a mandate to anybody, anywhere. All the silence in, in, in that system of the nation is under threat, as I'm talking to you. Military is not going to stop it. I, I thought very soon they will join, too. the police will join. Everybody will join. By the time you get to that level, you know, it talks to fury, national fury. They will move to Abuja and see where they will sit down and say they are legislative rubbish. Mm -hmm. You are saying that there will be a backlash from the people. I'm telling you, if you talk to fury and you become a national fury, by the time they start attacking trailers, warehouses, and manufacturers that can no longer manufacture, what, do, what, what else is remaining? And the government is still in the lab, test running. Whether this uh, floating of Naira is he working? Uh, uh, this policy is he going to work? Uh, can you so come? Uh, which one again? Uh, why are you bringing high interest rate? Obaseki is shouting. There's no sign, there's no indices pointing that at the end of the day, we are going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you very much. God bless you. Ukraine is giving aid to Nigeria. They are supporting for Nigeria. The country that is fighting war. They are fighting war. They are, at the end of the day, they are the largest food house. Nigeria don't have food. Nigeria have farm. The Amroba drive our farmer out of the farm. The government can't do anything. Now the government now see their they are, they are, they are work points. Nigeria is not hungry. The war country is not giving us food. It's a, it's a, it's a public embarrassment. Worldly disgrace. We never get to the Worldly disgrace. Not giving Nigeria. Jagraba country. Is there enough for Koyo? Big, big time for Koyo. We say we draw our home where we will break food. Now we are breaking to eat. Yeah, this is not what we voted for. We never vote for this type of situation, but the situation now came. I will do. Really can we disappear? We don't have the power to disappear. Why the power to disappear? We could disappear go to that country, go to Libya. Because you come over here now, you have to find money. Where is the money? Where you can't solve your life? You can't even enter transport from here to take it. Now you want to enter a plane. Plane, they don't catch you for help. So where you go? If you have the power to, to disappear, which country will you disappear to? No, go jump me. Jump me on the go live. Shall we speak German? Ah, I can speak German. <laughs> I go to America where I can speak English. America is my country. Where well, there is no any reason, no English barrier, no chip barrier. Everybody is black and we are, we are populated there. That is our hope. Best.
to pray for God that our country will be good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lord. God bless you.